few weeks ago I had a genius idea and I tweeted it and a few people responded but I need this message to get all the way to Sony, Canon, Panasonic and everybody else making mirrorless DSLR cameras that we're all using to shoot our video with right now. This is being shot on an A7R2. These cameras have become pretty universal both for amateurs but also professionals even though they're much smaller and have some less functionality than traditional video cameras. They put out so much quality at a relatively small size that we can't resist using them. They're fantastic. But there's a key professional feature that has been missing from all of them. First, the problem. When I'm editing footage that I shot a few weeks or even months ago, or maybe I'm working with somebody else's footage, there's also cases where you get a lot of footage in from other people that you don't have specific information about how it was shot, but you still need to color grade it. Larger, more expensive cameras like Reds, Alexas, Blackmagic, they solve this problem by embedding the information either in the RAW file or in sidecar metadata files. Here's my super simple, affordable solution to this. Since the file format of these small DSLRs is, is usually just a simple compressed format with no room for metadata, instead what we should be doing, or what you guys should be doing, camera manufacturers, is allow us to set the first frame as a metadata slate that has all the information about how the shot was taken. These things would include the camera model, shutter speed, aperture, white balance, ISO, frame rate, mic volume, mic input, picture profile including the gamma and color gamut, lens focal length, crop and zoom settings, date, time, and copyright information. This stuff doesn't change in between shots. The camera has access to all of it. It's already writing it to photo files as metadata. So it could just display the information for a single frame. So when you're editing, you have access to all of this basic information. If this doesn't quite make sense yet, I think the most obvious use case is a picture profile. The difference between a log profile and a flat profile can look pretty similar when it's coming out of the same camera. You have to really compare the files side by side for it to jump out at you and remember what you were shooting on. Instead, you could go back to the slate frame and just check how was I shooting this and add the appropriate LUTs or make the appropriate changes. I can imagine one issue with this where if you're making changes in the middle of a video file like changing the ISO halfway through for exposure or adjusting the aperture then it's going to be different at the beginning and the end so maybe you have an option where both the first and last frame are both slates. But hey this is just my idea I'm handing over to the manufacturers you guys do whatever you think is right. Please somebody implement this. Honestly I think it's a good idea. If you think it's a good idea to send this to your local camera manufacturer and ask them to give us metadata inside of our files.